Hey everybody. Well, it was a good and bad day. The great day is me and my son went to the shooting range and we had a ball. Unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me. I was thinking I wasn't doing so well on my shooting because last time we were there they had steel targets up. Just steel plate, you know, where you can shoot them and you can hear it clink off. Well, this other stuff they had up this time around were full of holes and it was some kind of rubber plastic mesh that you couldn't tell if the bullet went through it and I had a target up and uh, I learned one thing about my 40 it shoots well but it does not like aluminum casing so I'm gonna have to order me some uh, brass shells for it. Uh, same thing on my 357. I use steel cases on that one. Is that uh, ammunition made in Russia called Tulo or Tuno or whatever it is, and uh, it wasn't worth the crap. The, the steel casing expended so much I had a hard time unloading it after I shot it. So, those are two styles of ammunition I will never get again. I've always had good luck with brass, and uh, I'm just, that's how, I think that's what I'm going to stick with. I just went online and I found some brass, I'm going to order that. And uh, I wish I had some targets to show you, but it didn't even show up on the target. It just went straight through. So I don't know. My son said I did pretty good, considering how far we were away. They, uh, they have those things at least 35 to 45 yards away from underneath the shelter where you're supposed to shoot from. It's only supposed to be 25 yards. And my son said it was way further than that. And uh, we took a look at their rifle range. It's only supposed to be 100, but I guarantee you it's every bit of 200, if not more. So, everybody have a good week. And uh, next time I have something, I'll do a video. Take care.